this chapter de Broglie's wavelength. De Broglie suggested that as light is having dual nature, that is wave and particle, same way the mass has got dual nature, particle and wave. Total energy is conserved was proved earlier but de broglie says total energy and mass of system is conserved this is called as de broglie's hypothesis so first write de broglie's hypothesis hypothesis means assumptions first according to according to d broglie as energy that is light as energy has energy matlab radiation or light as well nature of wave and particles thus dual nature of wave and particles thus the matter that means mass also has dual nature of particle and wave right first point so de broglie suggested that particle also emits wave I think first point you all have written. Shall I cancel this? Come to the second point. Yes, sir. Okay. Second point, right? The sum of energy and mass always remains. on spin some of energy and mass always remains on spin then right derive expression for de broglie's wavelength we have expression for de broglie's wavelength by planck's quantum theory light consists of packets or bundle having energy h nu where nu is c upon lambda nu means frequency lambda is wavelength h is planck's constant by einstein mass energy relation by einstein's mass energy relation 
just complete till this then i am writing einstein's mass energy relation then we'll see that wave and mass they can be equated energy according to planck's quantum theory associated with every wave is h nu called as quanta and with every mass by einstein mc square but particle can be wave wave can be particle so that i can equate the two done so the energy is h nu which is hc by lambda due to planck's quantum theory by einstein energy is equal to mc square therefore from 1 and 2 we get h c by lambda is m c square so mass into velocity is called momentum p equals to linear momentum therefore lambda equals to h upon p this is de broglie's wavelength This is the Broglie's wavelength. Done, sir. So that for electrons, the Broglie's wavelength lambda equals to. Twelve point two seven upon root of consider an electron. Consider an electron of mass m moving. with velocity v in an electric field of potential capital v therefore kinetic energy is half m v square also kinetic energy is given e into potential v kinetic energy general is half mv square if electron is moving in field of potential v then it is also given by e into v copy this much hello prija yes sir after the lecture just wait so i will tell you what, which chapters i am going to do further and whether you want same or we have to change the order okay sir 
any exams you had so many days yes sir okay so just wait 5 minutes i will take only 5 minutes of yours okay kinetic energy half mv square equals to e into v shall i complete this sir one second Now we can write half m v square is e into v. So velocity v is two times e v upon m a root. This is root of two times q v upon m. Lambda is h upon p according to De Broglie's, which is mass into velocity This will be h upon m. Velocity is two root e v upon m. H upon two e v m square upon m in root. Which means six point six three into ten raised to minus thirty four. Two into one point six into ten raised to minus nineteen charge of electron. Mass is nine point one into ten raised to minus thirty one. So if you simplify all this, you will get equals to twelve point two seven into ten raised to minus ten upon root of v in meter. That will become twelve point two seven upon root v in storm. Copy full derivation.
सर यस सर वो जो आपने सब वैल्यू सब शूट किया वो फिक्स है ना चार्ज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन फिक्स होता है ना 1.6 अंकिता लास्ट लेक्चर यू आर नॉट देर नॉट वेल सर आई वॉज है तो आज मैं वो रिकॉर्ड किया लेक्चर आपको भेजता हूँ आप प्लीज सर मैंने देखा लिंक नहीं था वो नहीं नहीं आज मैं भेजूंगा भेजा नहीं आज ओके okay, सर डन सर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू सेवन अपॉन रूट वी एंड फ्रॉम यूनिट वी गॉट एस वेवलेंथ एसोसिएटेड विथ मूविंग इलेक्ट्रॉन लास्ट इज डेवी सन चर्मर एक्सपेरिमेंट डेवी सन चर्मर एक्सपेरिमेंट टू वेरीफाई वेव नेचर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन Actually, this year from the syllabus they have deleted this, but entrance if they give from entire syllabus for that we have to remember small topic. Davidson Germer experiment. We want wave nature of electron to be studied. मतलब पहला मुझे electron चाहिए. Who can give the electron? The cathode, which is heated by filament, can emit the electron. So we can cons it consists of filament. Which when he gets heated will emit the electron. So this filament heated cathode we have, it will emit the electron. This electrons emitted from this are made to pass through cylindrical tube having small opening. this electrons can come out through the opening at other end in the form of narrow beam this filaments are heated by low tension battery now this is called anode and this filament is actually emitting electron after heating called cathode heated by low tension battery this is connected to we will start this anode and heated by high tension battery this is connected to positive terminal of the battery node is connected to positive terminal of the battery this node it is connected to positive terminal of the battery
So these electrons which come out are made to strike to the anode crystals or sodium crystals through which these electrons get reflected back. They are collected by electron detector. which can move on circular degree scale and this electron deductor is then connected to Kelvin emitter. Entire arrangement is kept in evacuated chamber so that electrons do not come out in a diagram. It is found that at 54 volt, when deflection is 50 degree, then intensity of electron is maximum. Intensity of electron emitted is maximum. So for this intensity, lambda is calculated by using formula 2D sin theta. D is nothing but interatomic spacing between the sodium crystals ka atom ka beach ka spacing. This is 2 into 0 0.98 or you just remember it gives answer 1.6 nanometer which is found to be in close agreement with the experimental calculated value of lambda. So, itna kare diagram yaad rakho, kuch nahi hai simple. Electrons, they come out from anode, made to strike on sodium crystal. They are collected by electron detector, which is connected to galvanometer. By checking the galvanometer deflection, we can find intensity. At 54 volt, when pi is 50 degree, intensity, pi must be a total angle. Then intensity is maximum. So, lambda is given by 2D sine theta. The diffraction wala formula for maximum d sine theta. 2d is called interatomic spacing. So if I put the value, it comes out 1.697 nanometer. This all syllabus may actually delete kar diya, but I am doing in case they just want value of voltage and angle. So at least that much you should do. Yes, draw rough diagram and write that it is found that at 54 degree, uh, 54 volt when deflection is 50 degree intensity is maximum and for maximum wavelength comes out to be 1.67 nanometer. Ye 12.27 upon root v dala to same answer.
yes completed yes sir now come open the pdf come to problem number 51 characteristics x rays are produced due to what there are two types of x ray one is called as characteristics other is called continuous so when the graph of wavelength against intensity is plotted it is found that when the electrons wavelength is increased that means they are accelerated with voltage then graph comes continuous up to certain range with spikes in between the spikes are called as the spikes are called as characteristics x rays and the continuous graph obtained is called as continuous x rays ye meaning hai when you plot the graph at certain wavelength there will be spikes that spikes depends upon nature of the material now we will see characteristics x rays are produced due to transfer of energy in collision of electron with the atom of the target or transfer of momentum in collision of electron with the atom transfer of electron from higher to lower electronic orbit in the atom of target the characteristics what we get is transfer of electron from higher orbit to lower orbit of the target that is c so they jump from higher orbit to lower and radiate energy that is c option Fifty two, photon, electron, uranium, all have same wavelength. Then who will have most energy? The energy of photon is H C by lambda, and energy of electron is half m d square. Which is nothing but. Okay, I'm just clear in this to explain. Fifty two. Energy of photon. is hc by lambda energy of electron is half mv square which is half mv into v therefore energy of electron is half mv means linear momentum p into v so this is half H upon lambda of electron into 
now if i check these two so energy of photon upon energy of electron will be hc upon lambda of photon into two times lambda of electron upon h into v wavelength is same they are telling h i can cancel so energy of photon will become twice of energy of electron into c upon v c upon v is greater than 1 or less than 1 c is the speed of light 3 into 10 raised to 8 it will be greater always hello hello yes sir this ratio will be greater than 1 C मतलब लाइट का स्पीड वी मतलब इलेक्ट्रॉन का सो दिस रेशियो इज मल्टीप्लायर ग्रेटर देन वन सो एनर्जी ऑफ फोटोन इज ग्रेटर देन एनर्जी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन फोटोन एनर्जी इज ग्रेटर देन दैट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन सो मोस्ट एनर्जी इज द ग्रेटेस्ट इज फोटोन Now 53 onwards, it is de Broglie's wavelength. सर इन दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट अबाउट यूरेनियम न्यूक्लियर आ यूरेनियम चेक नहीं किया मैंने जानबूझ के यूरेनियम का ये दोनों से कम होता है हेलो हेलो यस सर यूरेनियम का मास ज्यादा है ना मैक्सिमम है ना यूरेनियम जब ये बॉम्बार्ड होता है ना तो उसको तो उसका मास कन्वर्शन बहुत कम है इसलिए उसका एनर्जी कंपेयर टू ये दोनों कम होता है इससे मैंने थर्ड वाले चेक ही नहीं किया तो जब भी यूरेनियम फोटोन इलेक्ट्रॉन दिया रहेगा तो डोंट चेक यूरेनियम खाली फोटोन इलेक्ट्रॉन चेक कर दो बस नेक्स्ट डी ब्रॉगली वेवलेंथ ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन एट ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री लैमडा देन वेवलेंथ at 927 will be how much che kya bola dekho temperature and wavelength relation they have given i know wavelength and velocity relation ye hai na de broglie's wavelength ka formula hello yes sir so lambda 1 अपॉन लैमडा टू कैन आई सेट इज वी टू अपॉन वी वन वेलॉसिटी इज डिरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ टेम्परेचर वी नो फ्रॉम कानेटिक थी ऑफ गैस सो लैमडा वन अपॉन लैमडा टू इक्वल्स टू खाली वी था गलती से मैंने रूट कर दिया सो दिस विल बिकम रूट ऑफ टी टू अपॉन टी वन लैमडा अपॉन लैमडा टू What is T two? Nine twenty seven degrees Celsius plus two seventy three Kelvin. Nine twenty seven plus two seven three will become twelve hundred. And twenty seven plus two seventy three will become three hundred. This is three hundred into four. So lambda upon lambda. Two is root four is two, therefore new wavelength is lambda by two. Option lambda by two. 
so we know wavelength and velocity relation and then we know velocity and temperature relation from that i could write lambda 1 upon lambda 2 is root of t2 by t1 Yes, done. Yes, sir. Next, for an electron accelerated through fifty-four volt, the wavelength of matter wave will be how much? Just now I wrote in de Broglie's uh, in de merger, fifty-four volt pe kitna aata hai electron ka one point six seven nanometer. Okay. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. In case you forget. then for electron wavelength associated is 12.27 upon root 54 mstrom mstrom means 10 raised to minus 10 meter this is lambda equals to 12.27 upon root of 54 10 raised to minus 10 into 10 raised to 9 in nanometer so this will become 1.227 upon root 54 1 meter is 10 raised to 9 nanometer root 54 is how much close to what is 7.5 ka square ka square 56.25 na हेलो यस सर ये इन नैनोमीटर इट विल कम 1.227 अपॉन रूट 54 ऊपर दे रहा हूं रूट 54 इफ यू टेक 56 के आसपास में 0.25 का उतना होता है Will come zero point one six something. Zero point one six seven nanometer. So, पहले वाले में ना आप one point six seven नहीं zero point six seven पर देना जो मैंने लिखा था. Zero point one six seven nanometer. Next, fifty-five. The de Broglie's wavelength of electron of kinetic energy hundred electron volt is one angstrom unit. Fifty-five. The wavelength is one angstrom unit. and kinetic energy is 100 electron volt what will be de broglie's wavelength when kinetic energy is 1600 electron ek shortcut batata hu aapko 
kinetic energy is e into v in joules the electron into voltage is in joule now we know that 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule is called one electron volt so e into v joule will be ev divided by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 in electron volt clear ye samjha kya kiya maine ev into 1 is ev divide by this so ev joule kitna hoega apna divide correct hello yes sir joule to electron volt we have to divide with e e means charge of electron so whenever answer we want in electron volt they have given joule what we have to do divide by e i'm just writing so that we can memorize that one. joule when divided by e which is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 then it becomes electron volt ev so kinetic energy in joule when i divide with e it will become in electron volt clear hello yes sir so can i say kinetic energy in electron volt is nothing but volt only thus ye bahut jagah pe use hoga kinetic energy in electron volt diya hai so is nothing but volt only और वोल्टेज होंगी तो अपना ये काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट इज सेम एस वोल्ट काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट सेम एस वोल्ट सो वेर एवर वी वांट वोल्टेज आई विल राइट 100 इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट सेम टू सेम दिस मच पॉपिट फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन इवन इन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फोटॉन दिस कन्वर्शन विल कम काइनेटिक एनर्जी इन जूल व्हेन यू डिवाइड बाय ई इट बिकम्स इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट Yes, done. Written full. Yes, sir. Now tell me what is wavelength associated by electron when it is accelerated in a field of potential v, twelve point two seven upon root of v angstrom. Correct. But v is same as kinetic energy in electron volt. 
so root of v2 by v1 first wavelength is given how much 1 angstrom 1 angstrom second we have to calculate root v2 means second kinetic energy 1600 hai eh, na yes or first wala 100 first one is 100 Two zeros gets cancelled, so one upon lambda two will become four. So lambda two is one upon four m strong. One upon four or zero point two five. They can give the option. What is option given? Option B. One by four. One by two, I think. Ah, one by four. B. None, sir. Fifty-seventh. Then I'm doing fifty-six. Fifty-seventh oral. Eh? In Davidson German experiment, results are obtained for voltage between what? Fifty-four pe maximum aata hai na? Hello, fifty-four pe maximum aayega na? Abhi likha hai maine aap. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. So you can't start from zero to forty-four, because maximum reach hi nahi hoega. So it is between a forty-four to sixty-eight experiment is performed. And the voltage we start from 44 and go up to 68. क्योंकि बाद में एक लेवल के बाद वो ग्राफ ऐसे देखो आपको बता दो क्या है ये इंटेंसिटी और इधर वोल्टेज बढ़ा या तो वोल्टेज जीरो पे कुछ नहीं था नो इलेक्ट्रॉन फिर इसका ग्राफ ढूंढेंगे ना ऐसा आता है और ये वोल्टेज 54 पे होता है ये बाद फिर बाद में रिड्यूस होने लगता है ग्राफ सो फोर्टी फोर वोल्ट टू सिक्सटी वोल्ट के बीच में भी Generally perform this Davidson German experiment. You have to write it down. Now fifty six. The kinetic energy of electron is ten raised to minus twenty two, and the photons have the same energy. So kinetic energy of electron and energy of photon they are telling same. Electron and energy of photon is same. Is same. The wavelength associated between them are respectively in what relation? So kinetic energy of electron and photon is same. Wavelength relation we want. Kinetic energy of electron is half m v square, which is half m v into velocity, which is equals to half linear momentum into velocity. That will be equals to half h upon lambda of electron into velocity equation one. Now energy of photon is equals to m c square, which is m c into c. That is same as h upon p h upon lambda of photon into c equation. Therefore, kinetic energy of electron upon energy of photon equal to half h v upon lambda electron. This is nothing but Lambda photon upon h into c. H h cancel energy is same cancel. Therefore, lambda photon equals to two times lambda electron into c upon d. Therefore, lambda photon is greater than equal to lambda greater than. Electron because C upon V का ratio is greater than one. Lambda photon greater than lambda electron.
completed. Yes, yes sir. Now we have completed wave uh, atoms molecule nuclei.